everyone, I'm Waza, and in this video, I want to show you which gags I bring and why. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I got a comment on it, and I'll show it right now. And so that's why I got this video idea. So I want to show you my main tune first, and why I bring these gags in this order. So, first off, I'm going to go from top to bottom, so this is for like a track list tune. First off, I only carry 6 tune up, well technically 7, but that, you know. I only bring 3 of these and 3 of these because I prefer to take out the cogs before we have to tune up. I only bring tune up for bad situations, or if there's, you know, I, I'd bring more if we're doing like a 4 man CEO or something like that, if I was prepared for it. So for trap, I have nothing, obviously, because I don't have trap. For lure, I just carry 17. I think that's a pretty good amount, because, well, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, because my lure always misses. But I think this is a decent amount. Um, for sound, I bring three fogs, because you always want the fogs. Seven trunks, because, you know, it's trunks, you use them a lot. And they look good, so you can use them as a substitute for trunks a lot more than people think. Now the main thing about that comment was talking about why I bring seven whole fruit pies and seven seltzers. There's a great reason for that. And that's because for me, I don't like to do more damage than I need to. And I, I prefer to save. I prefer to conserve my gag count. Now, I'm going to show you an example of, okay, so in the comment he said, he or she said that, like, when do you even use these? I use these a lot more than some people think. For an example, let's say there is a level 12 that is lure. Well, a level 12 has 200 hit points, right? The normal gag combination people use is the birthday cake, which represents the 100 damage here, plus the... Uh, whole fruit pie, which does a total of 140 if it's, you know, just the base red damage. So if we do 140, and since there's two gags, we have to add the point 0.2 here. But since it's also lured, it's 1.7. It's a 50% boost. So that is doing 238, which is plenty for a level 12. So the cake and a whole fruit pie. If you get a regular birthday cake with a whole fruit pie, it does 127 times 1.7, which is still plenty. So you can always use this as a substitute for this. You don't even need these as much to eat. And if this is organic, since 100 plus an organic um, cream pie slice is 18, the number 118 is a very important number. If you do 118 times 1.7, it's just barely 200. So if the cog is lured and you're using two of the same type, if the squirt and the throw does at least 118, it'll always take on a level 12. That's what I use it to remember that. Another good number is um, 100 or 1.33 or 133 times uh, 1.5. That'll round up to 200. And for 166, if it's just unlured and using the same gag trap or same gag type, it'll round up to 200. Like three fogs and one Iuga does this damage. So that's why I bring these. If I throw was organic, I'd consider even bringing these. You really don't even need these. These can all be the same gap in certain situations. So instead of using a birthday cake and a whole cream pie, I'll just go for a whole fruit pie just about every time. Because it's it's no difference for me. I don't really care about points. Honestly, I could do without them. Now for Squirt, he also said seltzers. I bring seltzers for a number of reasons. If a level 12 is lured, 
and you're going to use – or somebody uses a piano on it, I am honestly going to go for a seltzer over a hose because if it's already lubered, the squirt has a 100% chance of hitting, and it will also kill the car. Let's say there's a level 11 that's lured, so it has 156 hit points. So if we use a cloud and a seltzer, it'd be 101, and 101 times 1 1.7 is plenty. In fact, honestly, I think if you use a cloud plus a um, the, the water gun, be 92 it'd be it'd be enough anyways so these can be just as useful as these in certain situations so bringing this I don't know why it's really out of the question but yeah so a recap of all we've done so far is I don't really use tune up that often I prefer to steer clear from it lure is important because you never know when you need it Ogres. You'll, you'll probably need them, especially in Boss Bot HQ. You'll definitely need Iogas. These are optional. You can even bring some of these, honestly. they In certain situations, they do the same effect. And with Drop, I bring three pianos because three pianos is important. And the reason why I bring three saves, is I, I really never use saves. But if there's like a... Hmm, let me try to think of a quick example. Okay, you guys know how in the CEO, it's a normal rule to use lure, two cake, or three cakes, my bad, and it'll finish off the 12. Well, the, the first two cakes finishes it off, so you add the third cake, which is 300 damage in total. So 300 damage times 1.7 would be like 510. So you'd be adding, or my bad, let me add the 0.7, so the 70%, you'd be doing 310 to the second layer, which is totally overkill. You, you definitely do not need to do that much damage. If you bring safes, it can be a substitute for cakes. If you're doing like a 3, three to 4, or 3, 4, or 5 fire CEO, I recommend bringing some safes. And the reason for that is, for level 12 version 2.0, like the first cog you encounter, you can use lure and two cakes. Two cakes alone would finish it off. It'd be doing 200 damage, and since 200 damage surpasses the level 12's 200 hit points, you'd be doing 200 times 0.7, the 70% from the lure and the same type, of, same type attack bonus, which would be doing 140 to the second layer. Since the second layer originally had 200, and you subtract 140, it leaves with 60, which is the perfect amount of damage a safe does. So, one lure, two birthday cakes, and a safe will easily, easily finish it off. So you can see where I'm going with this. It's, it's just, I don't, I feel like I'd rather save these gags, because they sometimes make a, a difference. So that's just my stance on this, and this is for a trapless tomb, what I'd recommend. For a dropless tomb, I'll get to that right after this. So now, here's with the dropless tomb. Now, the reason why I carry these gags around is kind of different. So I'm going to skip the tune-up for now, and why I bring more of that, I'll get to that very soon. And I'm going to start with the a painful... You know, people that really, really think drop is awful and they love, they love trap, like, to death. This might offend some of you, but I'm just getting my point across. I only bring two TNT because that's pretty much the only useful one in this whole track, except for the weapon drop. Honestly, these are not going to help you from the VP up. This might... This can occasionally be used, but honestly, it's it's use sort of ends around loft. Honestly, because it's it just seventy damage is not sufficient enough in my personal opinion. Because you have to use it, the way trap works, and I'll get to that very soon. 
even if it's organic, it can take out a level 7, but you stop seeing level 7s at the Cito. So it, honestly, it stops becoming viable. I guess if there's a remaining COG, then it would be a good move, but I honestly never carry these. Even if you can only uh, carry 5 of them. Honestly, it, it really, it trap gets hindered here. TT, very useful. I'll use that in just about, you know, every facility. Use it a lot in offices, and heck, it has its purposes in uh, back nines when you have to lure the, the, when you, if you run out of sound. Heck. So, honestly, I only, tri I only carry two of these, and it's kind of just there. Good damage, quick gads, but only two. I think you should be able to carry four, in my personal opinion, just to compensate for Trap's, uh, you know, Trap's ability. And that comes up to my next point. I carry two more tune-up because I'm more of a supporting role because I have all these gags that I'm not using. I might as well bring more tune-up for a certain situation. Um, with Lure, I bring, personally, I'm... Uh, I have organic lure. Honestly, it's useless. I it, it misses anyways, but I use it for training. This is what this tune's for. I, I'm I I'm garbage in these. So I I just bring you know what is this? 18 lure. I'm never gonna use all 18, but it might be useful. Sound just because same reasons before and same reasons before for this. I just these two kind of affect each other. The less you have of these, the more you want to bring of these. But, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion with that. Um, I would show you like a tune-up list tune, but my tune-up list tune is, you know, it's not, it's, his gags are terrible. I need to really work on trap and drop and stuff, but I'll get to that in another video if I ever do. So these are just why I bring you know, these kinds of gags. These honestly have no real use, in my personal opinion. I never use these because 45 tune-up is just not enough. These do the job just fine. And I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new or gained a new perspective or have considered bringing these now. I'll see you guys later. I'm Wazup and I'm out.